Okay, a quick video here to help with balancing chemical equations uh, from the ILM and chemistry calculations part B. I hope uh, we can get this done for you technologically. All right, don't forget the three helpful rules for balancing. Balance the most complex compounds first, single elements last. Don't break up polyatomic ions like sulfates and phosphates. And sometimes you might want to want to write water as HOH rather than H2O, especially if there are hydroxides in the equation. Let's start out with the first example here. Um, calcium hydroxide plus phosphoric acid uh, and do some quick magical balancing here. So looking at the most complicated thing here, looks like calcium phosphate. Start with phosphate and there's two of them here and there's only one over here so we're going to put a two there to balance those out and we have three calciums over here and we have one here so i'm going to put a three over here to balance those out so that takes care of the two of them in that nasty thing there so let's move on from that to the next craziest looking thing which is over here with these hydroxides so i got three times the hydroxides times two which is six which means i need six over here so i'm going to put a six right over there so this is going to get us pretty close, I think. And at any time, you can just verify by counting the things on the left and comparing them to the things on the right. So here I have three calciums, three calciums. Here I have three times two, which is six hydroxides, six hydroxides. Here I have two times three, which is six hydrogens. Here I have six hydrogens. Here I have two times phosphate. Here I have two times phosphate. That guy is balanced. Next example here is a combustion equation with methane. Uh, tricky part one here is uh, the big one is this methane. So let's start out uh, with that first. I've got four carbons there. So I'm going to want four carbons over here. I've got 10 hydrogens over here. So I'm going to want 10 hydrogens over here to get us going. Then that leaves us left with oxygen. Here I have two oxygens, here I have eight, and here I have five, which is 13 altogether. And I've got two over here. So we've got a problem. Somehow I gotta get these to balance and I'm never gonna get 13 to balance with two. So this is where I use the double it up rule. Anytime you find odd, O2 equals double down. So that's here, here, and here. I'm going to double down to 8 and 10. And we're going to go through it again and see where we're at. So here now I have eight carbons. Here I have four. So I'm going to have to double that up. Now I have 20 hydrogens over here. I have 20 hydrogens over here. I have eight carbons here. I've got eight carbons here. Perfect. How many oxygens do I have? I have two over here, which is not good. And here I've got eight times two, which is 16, plus 10 times one. Yeah, that's not a very good plus sign. Plus 10 equals 26, which means I have a disparity of 24. To make that up, divided by 2 equals 12. So I'm going to put that over here. 12 oxygens over there. And we can do our math again. Two carbons. 2 times 4 carbons is 8 carbons, 8 carbons. 2 times hydrogen at 10 is 20. 10 times 2 hydrogens is 20. 12 times 2 oxygens is 24. And here I have 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 10 equals 26, which means I'm off by 2, which means I have to go here and change this to 13, and now we will have 
26, and then this will be balanced. Okay, getting a little deeper here is a big long one. Uh, starting out with what's craziest looking, probably this guy over here with the iron, chrome, and oxygen. Let's start out with that. We've got one iron here. We have two irons here. So I'm going to put a two right there to get the irons going. Now I've got two times two chromiums, which is four. Here I have one. So I'm going to put a four over there. Now I have four times two, eight potassiums. I have two here, so I'm going to put a four over there to balance them out. Then I have four times carbon, which is four over here. And here I have one, so I'm going to put a four over there. So that takes care of most of our major elements. Now we can count up oxygens and see what kind of trouble we're going to get into. So two times four oxygens is eight plus four times three, which is 12 plus the two that are there on one side and on this side I have four times four which is 16 plus three which is going to be a problem plus four times two which is eight so I could do the addition right now and see where I'm at but I know I'm not going to be there because I've got this odd number so that an odd number is going to lead me back to my double down rule so we're going to go ahead and just get right to double downing. So from 244 to we're going to go to 488. Over 8, 8, 8. And we will see how we're doing here just to make sure everything's happening. All good. All right. So here now I have four times four oxygens, which is 16. I have eight times three, which is 24. And then I have my two. On the other side, I have eight times four, which is 32 plus three plus my eight times two, which is 16. So you think, hmm, this doesn't look right. Well, you're right. The oxygen is still messed up. Um, but there's a reason for that, because now that I've doubled everything, you'll notice I didn't count through everything as I started, and I should have. I have four irons over here, and over here I only have two, which means now I have to double this as well so it's important to kind of get some practice and follow the steps um i've done this about five times in the last 10 minutes so that was intentional um but that does change everything so now let's look and see what happens this is effectively changing our odd number of three into six so let's just go through the whole thing again four iron let's see four irons over here four irons over here Four times two is eight chromiums. Here I have eight times chromiums, eight. Here I have eight times two potassium for 16. Eight times two potassium for 16. So everything's looking pretty good up till now. Now I have four times four, which is 16 oxygens there, plus eight times three, which is 24 oxygens there, plus my two oxygens there, and then on the other side, I have 8 times 4, which is 32, plus 2 times 3, which is now 6, plus 8 times 2, which is 16. So doing some quick math, that's 42 on this side, and 32 and 6 is 38, 48, 54 on this side. So 54 minus 42 equals 12 so that means i need six oxygens to balance this out that means i put a six right there and now everything should be copacetic so let's have a look
So this one, 4 times 4 stays the same at 16. This 8 times 3 stays the same at 24. So now I have 6 times 2, which is 12. So this now makes 52. Why is my math so bad? I don't know. I'm off by 1 still. There we go. Now we are fixed. So some trial and error is sometimes necessary. Uh, even when you've done a few of them, as you can see. And this one is now balanced. If I was going to write an answer on a test, the balancing numbers would be 4, 8, 7, 8, 2, 8. One more example here before we wrap this video up here. A um, little bit simpler, but here's a trick. Big one in there has ammonium in it, so let's start there. Two ammoniums, two ammoniums, one carbonate, one carbonate, one barium, one barium, one chlorine there, but times two, so that's two, and that's two. And this is right already, so this one will be written as a one, 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 two as a balanced equation. Last example. This one, as you see, has a hydroxide. So in this example, you're going to want to write this water as HOH instead. I'm just going to put that there. So this guy looks like he's the most complicated. So let's start out with him first. So here I've got two irons. So I'm going to go two irons over here. So two irons, two irons. Here I've got two times three, which is six hydroxides. Here I have one. So if I put a six right there, I've got six hydroxides there. Now I've got three sulfates here. I have one here, so I need to put a three there. That gives me three sulfates. And now six hydrogens, and here I have six hydrogens. This guy is balanced two, three, one, six. And that is the end.